welcome back to the channel YouTube. On today's video, we're gonna talk about Arch Oil, which is my favorite oil additive. It works really well. So if you have stiction on your six liter injectors or your seven three injectors, you're gonna to wanna to listen to the rest of this video. But first, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's see those comments down below. I wanna know your experience with Arch Oil and other oil additives to help with stiction in your 6.0 or 7.3 liter power strip. Okay, so we have Arch Oil AR9100 friction modifier here. This is what the bottle looks like. It is 16 ounces. And for a six liter or 7.3, you're gonna use a whole bottle of this with your oil change. Now it does have some other instructions in the back um, to use with mineral or synthetic oil at 1.2 ounces per quarts for engines and 3.2 ounces per quart for gear oil and hydraulic oil. So there's that, but really we're focusing on, does this actually work for to fix stiction in six liter injectors? I don't have experience with it in seven three injectors, but for six liters, I love this stuff. Now on the front here, we have a few claims. We have reduces engine noise, vibration, friction, and heat. Also protects engine during cold startup, reduce wear and extend component life, gently cleanses engine deposits and the most important thing on here eliminates ford power stroke 60 and 73 injector problems now i want to say this for most of this stuff i can't really attest if it does or does not i can't say i notice it's overly quiet much quieter when i run this from when i don't but i will say to the big thing here about injectors this stuff works now, what exactly does this stuff work on? It works on stiction. It will fix stiction. And when I say fix, I don't really mean that you have now fixed your problem. Obviously, a component is worn out, specifically in a six liter injector, it's the spool valves that wear out. So when that happens, you can get a rough idle. Typically, it happens when it's cold, not so much when the truck is warm, although you can have stiction when the truck is warm too. I have seen that if your injectors are bad enough. So if you are looking to something to get a little more life out of your injectors, especially in the winter, if, you, if you're someone that likes to do stuff on your own, you don't want to change your injectors out in the cold, I don't blame you. This stuff will definitely get you through a winter. Now, what it won't do is it won't fix an injector that is already down. So if you have a failed injector and you're just pouring smoke out, it's not going to fix that. That's not what this stuff does. It's really amazing stuff, don't get me wrong, but it will not fix that. So even though I have new injectors in my truck, I am running this with my oil changes. It can be a little expensive, but I think it's worth it in the long run if you can get longer time out of your injectors. I know I started getting injector codes a couple years ago, and that's when I discovered this and started running it in an attempt to not have to change my injectors yet. I wasn't comfortable doing it. Uh, that was well before I ever started this channel and it's turned into what it has. So what I did is I found this and started trying it, and lo and behold, it got me a few more years out of my injectors with virtually zero issues from them. Now, when an injector failed, it really failed. I was pouring out black smoke. At that same time, I also had a cracked cylinder head. That is obviously no fault of this. That's just a bad casting that I was lucky enough to get 180,000 miles out of in my truck. So I can't really complain there. Crack cylinder heads are pretty common in six liters, which is why we went with aftermarket cylinder heads that are O-ringed and well, you guys probably saw that video. If not, I will try to put a link to it down in the uh, comment section to check that out, talking about the Kill Devil Diesel cylinder heads. But anyway, back on topic. Do I think Arch Oil uh, Friction Modifier works? Absolutely, I love this stuff. I think it is a great product to help extend component life. As far as long-term wear characteristics of other moving parts, I'm not planning on this engine being torn down again to actually inspect these things but it did have brand new bearings and so far every oil change but one has had this and i cut that oil change short and to get oil and uh this in it so this everything should be wearing pretty well the truck runs great it sounds great there's no weird noises that it's not supposed to be making but the big deal here is really what it does for the six liter and seven three injectors if you are having issues with yours try this stuff it works literally almost immediately within at least 50 miles. I could tell a difference in how my truck was running when I had the older injectors in. Now, if this stuff is proven, to, in my opinion, proven to help fix section, why run it with brand new injectors? Because if this helps to hide the symptoms of 
Stiction in the six liter injector, why not use it from the beginning when you have a good set of injectors and hopefully extend the life of them much longer than they would have. You know, again, I had 180,000 miles on stock injectors on a six liter and I probably started using this at about 140,000 miles. So I got another 40,000 miles roughly once I started using this from the start of having uh, codes pop up for my injectors. To close out the video while we're talking about this, obviously go buy this Arch Oil Friction Modifier. I also regularly use their fuel additive to treat the diesel fuel that's in the truck. I use that almost every tank full. When I buy this, they, you get a big container of it. I run through that before I need this again. So when it's gone, it's gone. And when I get Arch Oil again, I just start using it. So that's how I do that. But now last, let's talk about some oil. I get oil questions all the time about what I run in my truck. Currently I'm running just Ford Motorcraft for diesels, the normal stuff they recommend. It, it's a good oil in my opinion. I run it and I had zero issues with it. I did go through a phase where I was running T6. I do feel the truck ran a little better at first and then I feel like it didn't really do anything. And I was running Arch Oil with it at the same time. So I got away from the Rotella products and went back to Motorcraft. When I did my Warren Diesel injectors, they actually say do not run Rotella. I am going to probably try Schaefer's in the spring and see how that works again, always using the Arch Oil. I'm a big fan of it. Warren Diesel does recommend some other additives, which I may consider trying, although Arch Oil has worked so well, I'm probably just gonna stick with that because I've had such good luck with it. Anyway, YouTube, that is all that I have today. Thank you for checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Of course, give this video a thumbs up and drop those comments down below. I'm looking for ideas of videos that you guys have some questions about, whether it be hot no starts or no start conditions with the six liter, other oil questions, anything that I can answer, please drop those comments down below and I'll see you next time. Somewhere into the smoke, there are